One of her passions, public service work, led her to leave what could have been a lucrative career in law for public service. But making lots of money was never her goal. Within months after her husband was sworn in as U.S. Senator, Michelle Obama received a pay increase of $195,000 from the not-for-profit hospital where she works. At the same time, she was put on the board of directors of Treehouse and Bay Valley Foods, where between her compensation as a part-time director and profits from her stock options have put another $100,000 into her pockets. Barack Obama tells us he's fighting to make health care more affordable. He didn't tell us that his wife is one of 13 vice presidents at a not-for-profit hospital that in 2005 reported earnings of over $100 million, in part by charging uninsured minorities three and a half times as much as whites with insurance for the exact same care. In July of 2006, Senator Obama told a group of college activists, You'll have boundless opportunities when you graduate, and it's very easy to just take that diploma, forget about all this progressive politics stuff, and go chasing after the big house and the large salary. What he told the Chicago Sun-Times only after an embarrassing investigation into the purchase of his stately $1.65 million mansion. U.S. Senator Barack Obama expressed regret late Friday for his 2005 land purchase from now-indicted political fundraiser Antoine Tony Resco. He tells a union group that opposes the amount of compensation paid to the CEO of Walmart that there is a moral responsibility to stand up and fight for a better economic future with adequate wages, health care, and retirement benefits. In 2005, the CEO of Walmart received $10.5 million in total compensation. What he didn't tell the union members was in that same year, the CEO of Treehouse Foods received $26 million in total compensation, a company whose revenues were 409 times less than Walmart's. Maybe because he's embarrassed over the fact his wife sits on the board of directors of Treehouse Foods a company that shut a plan in 2006 which was staffed primarily by low-paid Hispanics. To learn more about the audacity of Barack Obama, go to www.obamatruth.org.